first of all, the CRKT Chogun does not come exactly like what is shown. Um, it came with a lacquered covered um, handle, which it's the same piece of wood, it's the same handle. But I removed the lacquer and put a dark stain and I oil the handle with boiled linseed oil. Um, I prefer this, it's softer in the hand, it gives you less of a tennis elbow because more of the shock is absorbed into supple wood than dry wood with a hard um, finish. The Grand Spurs Brooks comes from the factory with a linseed oil handle. Um, use boiled linseed oil. Uh, normal linseed oil takes forever to absorb, be absorbed and dry and stuff. Um, I haven't really I haven't done anything to the heads except haven't modified the Grand Spurs Brooks at all. The CRKT normally um, comes with a um, secondary bevel. Just the way I sharpen um, over time that got taken out. I use um, I have two sharpening pucks. One is a medium and a coarse and then I have my Grand Spurs Brooks which is the only one I really use anymore. This one right here you can see it's fine and medium. It says coarse, it's more of a medium. Um, and that's what I use. And that's why the edge, both the edges kind of have that weird, um, I don't know, that weird look to them. It's just how they're sharpened. Works fine. Um, looks a little weird, but that doesn't bother me. Alright, let's get into it. Price wise, um, the CRKT is forty to sixty dollars depending on where you buy it. I believe I bought mine at a academy for about forty five dollars. The Grants for us Brooks you pretty much have to solely order them off the internet because they're made in Sweden and uh, they aren't like they're mass produced but they're hand a lot of them are produced, but they're handmade. And so, um, the forge couldn't, can't keep up with any um, production needs a large retail outlet would need. And so, you just don't find them very often in shops. You can source a never used um, one, practically brand new off of eBay for $180, $185. Normally come with everything including the Axe Book. Um, mentioned it in another one of my videos. It's got a good, good bit of tips and stuff. Um, I've read it once. Um, a lot of stuff I already knew, but some of the stuff like didn't know and it makes a lot of sense. So. It's worth getting, worth reading. Um, some of them come with the sharpening puck. Comes in a nice little rubber cover. You just pull it off like so. Um, mine's dirty right now because I use it, but um, it's I highly recommend it. But all right, now we're on to um, philosophy of use. This design, and this axe, was always a tool. The geometry and the look never was a weapon, and it never will be a war axe, to say. You could definitely hurt someone or kill someone very adequately with it, but that's not what it's designed to do. The CRKT looks like a warhawk or tomahawk and it's a lot of people call it a tomahawk it's more of I don't know it looks like a tomahawk but I'd 
put it in a category more with like a French trader's axe from 1700s. Um, a lot of the European trader's axes are very similar to this. They have the hammer off the end and a bearded head. Um, they're normally they're normally a little bit heavier than this, but this is quite a bit heavier than a normal tomahawk, as you can see. It's got a nice thick blade, um, thick spine and stuff. It looks like it's sharpened here on videos and stuff. It's not. Um, it's just ground down, which I have found a couple times whenever I'm dealing with large pieces of timber. It's that beard is kind of nice because if you don't have a handhold on a piece that's a few hundred pounds you can come in from the end and kind of uh, embed your beard so it's in like that and then you have a handhold to move it but that's that's nothing that should sell you on the axe or not sell you on the axe it's just a little thing I've used it for in the past. Um, weight. This, the Chogun is two pounds. The, like, two pounds and 1.4 ounces, so practically just two pounds. The Grand Saros Brooks is, um, 2.2 pounds, so just a little bit heavier. I think most of the extra weight is in the head. Um, the handle, it, the handles are about the same, truly, because this one is a little bit wider, but it's straight, and this one's shaped, but a little bit thinner, so it's a toss-up, whatever. Um, ready to use out of the package, I'd say the Grand Spurs Brooks is definitely, um, wins there. I was able to get it, um, I wiped off some of the excess oil that was on it and I used it straight away that day came with a nice edge and stuff this one on the other hand um, you don't have to get rid of the lacquer finish but I recommend it that's why I did so it took about a day before I was able to use it and it came with a very dull edge which a lot of people say they don't so I think I just got a lemon but um, it's just something to consider um, let's see, alright, into splitting, cutting, hammering, um, other camp chores. Splitting, the Grand Saros Brooks does a better job. Um, you saw it in my use video, it cut through a very similar piece of wood, um, without even getting hung up. like the CRKT did. The cutting CR, um, CRKT does not win there either but it comes in very close. Um, they're very comparable axes because of the price difference. Hammering the CRKT wins. Um, the hammer on the back is just a little more versatile than the back of this axe. Um, I've just found it a little bit more useful, but I haven't like I haven't carried this and gone, oh man, I wish I had a hammer with me. It's worked just fine for putting in take um, tent stakes and stuff like that. So um, another one of those like little bonuses, but shouldn't be a selling point for you. Um, let's see on to what they're made out of. The handle on the Transferus Brooks is I'm trying to remember. Uh it's definitely a hard wood. I'd say it's probably oak. Um or hickory. It's not an American wood, but it's made in Sweden, so what a shocker. This is, um, if I remember right, it is um, hickory, a Tennessee hickory handle, or just hickory, but it is American.
and it's American made from as far as I know. It's got a 1055 carbon steel head. This has a high carbon steel head. Um, Grand Stress Brooks doesn't exactly say what type of steel it is from what I've seen. Um, doesn't bother me too much. Mine came in with a little repair right there. If you can see that on the video. And it also has it's been folded you have a little line if that'll focus but it came in with a couple things like that which kind of worried me at, for, at first but it has a 20 year guarantee and so far I've been using it pretty hard I haven't gone easy on it and it hasn't had any issues um, so I highly recommend both if you have the money, buy the Grand Rose Brooks. It does a better job. Um, they're both equally packable and equally um, size. They both have 19 inch handles. I think the CRKT has a, let's see, it's about 8 inch long head. And this one has about, I don't know, I'd say a 6 inch long head. Um... After that, there's kind of a second level of cool with the Grand Stress Brooks, uh, just because you have the name and stuff, but this is a pretty cool axe too. Um, I'd carry either or if I had the choice. Um, if I had to choose between the Grand Stress Brooks and something else, I'd carry the Grand Stress Brooks. If I had to choose between this and something else, I'd choose this most likely. But, um, quality wise, they're both well made. Um, the Grand Stress Brooks, the head is wedged on. This has a head that its own uh, handle keeps it on. There's no wedge or anything. The handle comes out, flanges, opens, and every time you swing, um, the head wants to fly off in that direction because of the momentum transferring and it tightens itself so uh, they neither head has come loose like this one will be loose occasionally but it's not a huge deal it will tighten up after a couple swings um, all in all I highly recommend both if you have the money go with this if you only have 50 ish dollars to spend, definitely go with um, the CRKT um, over a lot of other things. There's probably pretty good choices in that price range, but for availability, price, usability, and durability, the CRKT uh, wins in that price range, and the Grand Stress Brooks wins in its price range. Um, so yeah, that that concludes it. If you liked the review, like, share, follow, um, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel. I'm just starting up. This is my third video I'm putting up. Um, I've been using, this is a little Kodak camcorder. I have a Canon um, power shot I use sometimes. And then I have my GoPro and that's it. So... I'm hoping to get some better cameras um, because my camera choices right now are kind of limited and they don't do a fabulous job. I'm hoping to get a real tripod pretty soon. Right now it's just kind of on a PC piece. Um, that's my tripod by my reviewing table. So, um, any comments, recommendations, concerns, um, questions, voice them in the um, comments section. Um, have a great day. Hopefully, subscribe, come back later, watch more videos.